Am I lonely? Huh? So am I lonely? Yeah. You know why I dressed as a clown for Halloween? Because hmm. that's what I look like when I believe you say that. What do you mean? Give me your phone. I already know what's going down. Yeah, come no, here. No, just, no, just, no. No, no, come here. <laughs> Give me your phone. You can't stay loyal, can you? I can. Please That's why more you more didn't. Chance, more chance, more chance. Give me your please, phone. Please, give me please, your please, phone. Please, no. Please. Hey, you told me that last. Hey, let go of me. you're not leaving yet. Let go of me. No, listen. Let go of me. Are you gonna explain any of this, or are you just gonna leave it at that as it's you know what's a going on? Fucking thing. You just got mad and upset and made a stupid decision, and I wasn't even gonna so... follow through with it. Why do you keep doing this shit to me? Why why like do you, you keep doing first time. why do you do this to me? This isn't me going around and doing anything to you. This is the fact that you can't stay loyal. So don't turn this around on me. Do not turn this around on me because I did not do anything wrong. Right. This is you. This is your fucking problem. Okay. No explanation? That's that's all it's gonna be? Well, I don't know what else to say. You got me. We'll you you fucking promised me that you wouldn't go and do this. And yet you do it on Halloween after you fucking know how bad of a day that I've had. And you say you want to do anything to make it up to me. Is cheating making it up to me? No. It's not like I was going to go through your phone. You told me yourself. Trust is the biggest thing. If we don't have trust, we don't have anything. Don't go through my phone, because if you go through my phone, we don't trust each other. How come it's the guys every single time that say, oh my god, I'm so insecure, oh my god, stay with me forever, and shit like that, as they're the one cheating? What's up with guys and doing that? You're a guy, you should let me know. Um. You should know. Okay, so this is for everyone wanting a story time about my cheating ex-boyfriend. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can go to my page about part one, two, and three about me confronting him. Okay, so I have my friend message him to see if he would cheat. I don't need to explain myself on why, but I will anyways. So, he always told me, like, not to go through his phone because if you don't have trust in a relationship, like, you don't have anything. And, at, like, one point, I was just like, he's hiding something because, like, he wouldn't keep his phone around me. So, I have my friend message him to see if he would cheat because I figured if... I can get one of my friends to do it. Like, he's going to literally do it with anybody. And he told my friend that he wanted a no-strings-attached relationship with her because he didn't want to hurt me. Screenshot number one, you can pause to read it. Screenshot number two, she sent this to me after I dumped him and he had texted her this. What is the craziest way you guys found out that somebody was cheating on Okay, so... He went out with his friends and he came home and he was really drunk, his pants were dirty, and he proceeded to get in the bed. And he took off his pants and he wasn't wearing underwear and his knees were all scuffed up. And I was like, what the fuck, where's your underwear? You know, why are you so dirty? And he was just, you know, really drunk. So he laid down, went to bed, and I went through his phone. Nothing in his text messages, nothing in his pictures. So, being me, I went into his email. And I found messages from Craigslist. And I have known, we were dating for like almost three years at the time. And I've never heard him talk like the way he did. He fucked some old man, or some old man fucked him behind the high school. So, yeah. What is the craziest way you guys found out that somebody was cheating on you? Okay, so I've made like three of these already, but, um, I guess I've been cheated on a lot. So his cousin and his cousin's girlfriend came over to my apartment and stayed the night. And, um, then in the morning they left and of course we're all drinking. And so the next day she was messaging my boyfriend, his cousin's girlfriend was messaging my boyfriend and, um, he was still logged in on my phone. So I was pretending to be him and I'm like, what's up and she's like oh can we talk just you and me and I was like pretending to be him sure and she's like I just wanted to know 
I thought you loved Mimi. I'm Mimi. And um, I put, I do. And she's like, well, then why did you have sex with me last night when everyone was sleeping? Yeah. Yeah. 